This I grossly overpaid for, but you know how crazy I am about anything to do with turtles. I paid $36 for him. But come on, look at that face. He's so happy. Uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's going in the backyard. As promised, I am going to show you what I purchased at a recent online auction. I was looking for my invoice and I, I crammed the invoice somewhere in the car here. I, I mean, I'll run into it. So, um, I don't remember what I paid for stuff unless I can find that invoice. So, um, it's the first thing I'm going to try to do is find the invoice. Here's the mess I'm looking at. So. It's not, it's not as bad as it looks. Honestly, it's not as bad as it looks. I've got some larger items down there on the bottom and like that's an antique chair. Um, so I really do want to find the invoice though so I can tell you what I paid for stuff. So give me a minute. Let me dig through here and find it. I found it. Okay, I had it on the floor at the floorboard there. I really need like a, I need like a tripod to hold this camera while I do this stuff, but that's okay. Um, so I bought a bunch of paint supplies for Rachel. Of course, I spent 10, 19, $25, $25 on all of these paint supplies, which I'm going to show you. Okay. So flow acrylic, flow acrylic. I don't even know what this is. Oh, I guess it's black acrylic paint with a pump included. Here's some metallic acrylic. Oh, I bet those are really expensive. I mean, I know paint is not cheap to begin with. So I'm going to look a couple of these things up. Kind of probably on Amazon because that's where you would more look up something like this. Uh, here's some more metallic acrylic paint tubes. Another lamp black. She uses a lot of black, so black is good. Oh, and there's white. And then we've got Faber Castell grip pencil. Oh, she loves her artist pencils. And it comes with an eraser and a sharpener. Oh, she's gonna love that. Now I have, I have the dilemma. Do I put some of this away for Christmas or do I let her have it now? We've got gloss coating. We've got matte finish. We've got more acrylic paint I know this acrylic paint in and of itself is worth more than like each box you know I paid a little bit different let's suppose this was the nine dollar box I more than got my money's worth <laughs> um, we've got paint brushes a whole pack of paint brushes and then we've got another oh my gosh acrylic paint set there's 24 acrylic paints in here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Now I know I got my money's worth out of this. And then there's a more, Oh, there's red, yellow and brown. Oh my gosh. And then more. Oh my gosh. This is, <laughs> there's some good stuff in there. So I just looked some stuff up and I kind of added it all together. It's about $115 worth of paint and paint supplies and art supplies in there. Um, and I didn't even count everything. Like, mm, that was a good purchase. Okay, I'm going to go through this next one. Uh, looks like, I think, these are like painting aprons. I don't think she has a painting apron. A painting apron would be a good idea. Yes, painting apron. Ooh, that's got stuff in the pocket. Oh, we've got... We got readers. She does not need readers, so I will probably put those in a donate pile. Um, so there's two of these painter aprons. So that's cool. Maybe I will paint with her. And then we can both wear painter aprons. Odorless mineral spirits. So this was $12. Don't want that to fall. Ooh, lots, lots of paint brushes. It's a 25 piece, it was a value pack. Doesn't say what the original price was on there. 
but let's say I paid six dollars for this lot so I've got my money's worth I've got some pallets look these were five bucks each five bucks that one's used but still that's at least ten dollars worth of painters pallets got a ruler oh we got these cute little double flower palette this is a set of two you know even if these are five bucks this stuff all adds up if you got a little painter in the family little math tools <laughs> she probably won't use that she's not a math tool kind of gal um what does that say omni grip it's an interesting huh she might use that actually and then some more okay so um yep for six bucks five bucks six bucks whatever i paid for that one definitely got my money's worth Okay, and this one comes in this nice little uh, container. This one, I, I think, one was 10, one was 9, one was 6. So let's just count that last one I just showed you as 6. We'll count the first one as 10, so let's count this as the $9. We've got 1, 2, 3, there's 6. And these are all full. Like, these are full paints. These are not, like, almost empty. These are full paints. Um, so there's 6 paints there. 2 more, 7, 8... Markers will appear dry. Shake markers. Some special kind of paint markers. Chalk markers. Some of these are never opened. A paint marker. Hmm. Okay. She's going to dig that. I know she's going to dig that. Oh, we've got some real chalk in there. All right. Some more um, pencils. These artist pencils are very expensive I know because she's had me buy many of them for her um, she loves to draw as much as she loves to paint I'm not sure what these are Martha Stewart some kind of little I don't know painting something or other Rachel will know Rachel will know okay not bad um, I think just the containers worth 10 bucks because she's got a lot of these kind of paints and they fit in here really nice I don't know let's see how many fit so like 10 fit in each drawer because five and five so she could put 10 well those drawers aren't set up the same I guess you could move those things or you can move these around okay so she could technically put 10 20 she could just put 30 things of paint into one of these so this is a really cool little thing all in and of itself oh yeah and this little paint brush holder pencil holder came with it too so there we go. There's all Rachel's paint supplies. Okay, where do I go next? I guess I'll take this guy out. I bought this because I picked one of these up recently at Goodwill. So I just done the research and I know that these sell in like the $30 range uh, online. This one's kind of cool. We got to clean it up a little bit. It's got some schmooze on it. Uh, but it's got, you've got, that looks like chutes and ladders. That looks, I'm not sure what that is. Okay, what game is that? I don't know. But we've got backgammon. You've got, that looks like Parcheesi maybe. Of course, you've got chess checkers. And then here are all the parts, all the game pieces to play the game. All in there. So that one, again, I know these sell for the, in the $30 range. And uh, this one, I picked this up for, oh, I've got to find it on my sheet here. It's okay if you see an address, because it's a really old address on here. Um, what did I pay for this? Oh, I paid six bucks. I bought it for six bucks. Six bucks. That was a good purchase. The the woman whose house this was had a thing for Shih Tzu, so I'll be showing you a bunch of Shih Tzu stuff in a moment. But <clears throat> this, let me see, what did I pay for this? I paid, okay, I did pay $25 for the cactus. And um, I don't know if I feel safe putting this out front. I'll put it out front for now. Let's see how I 
decide to go with it. But yeah, I did pay 25 for that. I kind of love it. I love the metal art. I love um, the whole peanut. You got an opinion again. I love the, the just the creativity, the creativity. All right, let's go back to the car. Um, oh, I've got this peacock pillow. Let's see, what did I pay for this peacock pillow? I paid, I paid, where's my peacock pillow on here? Um, it's on here somewhere. I know it is because I checked it off. Oh, there it is. Five dollars. I paid five dollars for this beautiful applique peacock pillow. This one I will sell. Um, look at it's it's just really cool. Five dollars. You know, can't go wrong with five dollars. Uh, on eBay, if I get this cleaned up, it's got a couple little stains on it. If I can get that cleaned up, I think this will bring thirty to thirty-five on eBay. All right, I got this whole little lot of, oh my goodness, um, did not realize that was, I guess they're supposed to be like that, they're not flat. Um, a whole lot of like pot holders, and mainly I got them because they had strawberries and you know, Jordan's now into the strawberry thing. Um, but I got these really nice uh, world market little dishy towels with, there's the Satter Dog. Let's see what this one is, this one is, Thurs dog, and this one is Mun dog, and this one is Two's dog. So it's not a complete set, but there's there's four of them. Um, this is just a little dish towel. I mainly bought it for those embroidered towels. Oh, these are kind of nice. Hey, these are actually really they feel really nice. These uh, these dish towels with the Cocopelli dancers on them I could sell these in a live sale because I know I have some people who like the Coco Pellies. these are so functional it's kind of looking for a name on these I don't see one right off the bat but these feel oh wait I see something these feel really good quality they're KD designs KD designs made in India there you go all right so I'll probably I'll probably sell those and I'll sell the embroidered doggies in live sale and I'll give the strawberries to Rachel, Rachel, Jordan. Um, and then there's these placemats. Does anybody use vinyl placemats? These are brand new. Look at that. I guess these would be good for like putting under plants too, wouldn't they? Cause they're, I mean, they would work good outside. I may use these out on my patio cause I kind of love the color. Yeah, I think I'll do that. But all of this was only five bucks. And there was some napkins in there too from Cypress Home. So 20 uh, new napkins. This is another item. I only paid $5 for it. It's a little Shih Tzu. Reminds me of my mom's dog, Lucky. I think that's why I kind of like was, I gotta get some of these Shih Tzu things. Um, he's just a big porcelain Shih Tzu. I mean, he's big. So he will not be shipped. He will go down to the booth. Yeah, I don't see. And when I say the booth, I mean the vintage market. So if you're in the area and you want a big Shih Tzu doggy statue thing, come on down. I'll make you a good price on him. I thought I was getting this really stinking good deal on this um, Golden Knights jacket. And what I failed to realize was that it's from a particular... Uh, bar here in Vegas, the Remedies local, a local bar. I mean, it's still Golden Knight, so I can probably still get somewhere 15 to 20 bucks for it, and I paid nine. So not a total loss, just not what I thought it was, not the super good deal that I thought I was getting. So one of the things that got me interested in this online auction was all of this yard art, including a lot of peacocks. I know I paid too much for these but I really wanted them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I paid 33 and 37. Didn't get them for resale. I got them for myself to put in the backyard because I kind of got a thing for peacocks. Um, so yeah, yeah, that, yeah.
they did that. Um, I got this beautiful little antique chair that I think Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas really knows how to fix up some of this um, wear on on wood. I mean, the wood itself is in good condition. It just it just needs a little something, and I'm not sure what that something is. So I'm going to have to talk to Tiffany about that. But it's an antique chair. It's an antique chair, and I got it for five dollars. Uh, I just couldn't say no for five dollars, even if I only get twenty bucks for it. I've still I've I've rescued it. Um, somebody. Somebody will know how to give this little chair a proper home. So I got all of these little fake succulents and some of them like they look really good. Oh, this one is kind of coming apart. Um, but they look, they look really real. Just a little dust on them. Uh, so I got all of these and that one for $11. Um, I'm going to place some of these strategically kind of around the house. And then I've got the little a set of, they're just little resin hedgehogs, but how stinking adorable are those guys? I got those for $6. And then, okay, this I grossly overpaid for, but you know how crazy I am about anything to do with turtles. I paid $36 for him, but come on, look at that face. He's so happy. Uh, yeah, you know, he's, he's going in the backyard. He's going in the backyard. Okay. Then we've got this really cool pillow. Um, and I know there's this, a particular artist that does these pillows. Let's see what, what did I pay for this? I paid $5. $5. Wait, Denny, D-E-N-Y is the maker of this pillow so i'm gonna have to look that up but the colors are pretty fabulous uh so i think somebody's really gonna love that pillow it's double-sided super clean oh here's the here's the tag denny designs or d-e-n-y whatever that means anyway five dollars i'm sure that i will be able to flip that pillows you know i always look up pillows at the goodwills too because pillows can bring really good money. People love to decorate with pillows, so never pass by a good pillow. You've also heard me talk about how expensive the battery operated candles are, so um, that's why I picked this up. I haven't, ooh, let's try it. Let's turn it on. Does it work still? No, it needs new batteries. Uh, but this one's really pretty, and I can put this out on my new back porch where I'm still gonna do the ocean theme and then this one I thought they were both the the battery operated this one's actually got a real candle so we'll be getting rid of that candle and uh, maybe I'll just put a different um, battery operated one inside of this because they do kind of go together not really maybe I'll just sell this one this was a $25 little uh, candle holder hurricane there you go so maybe I will I'll sell that one to kind of recoup my cost didn't break it <laughs> that was a little rougher than I thought it was gonna be um, but I do like this one and that's what I bought it for and that one was only five bucks and then I got a pair of art glass I don't know if they're supposed to be cats or tigers I saw the stripes and I kind of thought hmm those look like tigers anyway I got the pair of those for just five dollars so I'll probably put those in one of my live sales so this was another lot that I paid just $5 for. And in that, there were two pillows. Uh, there was this one. This one is in a little bit of a rough shape, but it is a vintage embroidered or needlepoint or cross stitch or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then there was, it's interesting because these little plaques have uh, savers tags on the back. And these could be personalized. So there's three of those. There's a single black cat coaster. Wait, how many of the dog co- oh, wait, no, there's not just a single. Hold the fort. Wait a minute, we've got four. <laughs> we've got four of these guys. Four of these guys and three cats. Oh, he's got a chip, darn it. That's funny though. All right, let's call it two black cats and four of the little 
Shih Tzu dogs, coasters. I'll sell those down at the market. And then we've got this tile, painted tile by Pumpkin Ink. Hand glaze, kiln fire in front of Albuquerque, New Mexico. So that's, I mean, that's a good 10 or $15 right there. So remember I paid $5 for all of it. So you can see why I had trouble resisting. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I did pay $16 for this itty bitty little lamb. And the reason I did that is because I actually have the entire uh, Hummel Goebel nativity set. You can see it's made in West Germany. And so this is getting added to my nativity. And believe it or not, a single piece like this sells for $20, $25 on eBay at a minimum. So I still got a really good deal on him. I got this Jim Shore Shih Tzu dog with his original tag on there. Uh, his name is Ming, Hartwood Creek, 2009. I got him for six bucks. I'm not sure what he sells for, but gym shores are really good. So I always do pick them up. And then I got this Beadworks uh, Shih Tzu, who's really funny, uh, $6 for him. And again, these beadworks pieces sell for some pretty good money. I don't know exactly how much this one brings. I'll pop it on the screen there. And uh, after I'm researching, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with him. Actually, I'm not going to pop it on the screen. I'm going to do a recap. Ooh, I can do a recap. I can actually do a recap on this haul. Yay. I haven't done one of those for a while. So be sure you stay to the end. I'm going to tell you what I paid, how much it's worth, and all that good stuff. Uh, let's see. Then I got the, I got the, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing some stuff. Oh no, I am missing some stuff. Okay. Have to let them know. Um, oh, I'm missing a couple of things. Okay. I'm missing a couple of things here. I'll have to, they'll, they'll make it good. So I got the, is this a bank? Oh, it is the bank. I got this bank, the bobblehead. And the pin for five dollars. There we go. And this is done by Bianca the Shih Tzu Bank. Aren't so I can't Ar Armillo Arm Gar blah, 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 Armillo. I'm not sure what that name says, but pretty cute. Pretty cute. It's got to be worth something. I'm seeing some little broken pieces in here that look like it came off of this piece here which is kind of a bummer. Um, it's that same maker. So that one did lose a couple of pieces of its head. Um, <laughs> that's a, that's a really funny little bobblehead guy. Uh, it's got a name on the bottom. Can I make it out? 2005 artist international. Oh my gosh. That's just so funny. That is just so funny. And then I got the little, pin um that's signed too let's see who makes that that's made by ellen ls i think that says ls i don't know that'll probably go in a live sale or it'll end up in one of my my jewelry mystery boxes okay i'm gonna put these guys all back in here so yeah i gotta contact them because i am missing a few things um it was really really busy and crazy when i was um, grabbing and everything and it wasn't all together so um, the people at this auction they're really good about that stuff and I'm sure nobody else picked that stuff up so it's it's just waiting for me oh boy I got all of these pillows for five dollars and they're all Shih Tzu themed this person really loved their Shih Tzus this is a picking pillow these can be worth some pretty good money um, there's another and there he is this little guy that little guy and that little guy oh my goodness all of these shit super five dollars for all of them there's a one two three four five six seven of them seven of them for five dollars okay i saved the best for last i can't even tell you um how long i have wanted one of these and they're really really super expensive to purchase them 
but you can see uh, he moves in the wind and I am totally and completely in love with him and the dogs are going nuts again. <laughs> it's okay, it's just me. Uh, so he's gonna live in my backyard because I love him so much. I did pay 50 bucks for him and he's worth every penny of that to me because he's so cool. All right, get ready for the recap. Oh my goodness, I left off one of the most important things. I even gave a teaser on my last video about this piece that was sitting in my front seat. Um, this was the thumbnail to this auction and this is what drew me over to this auction. Look at this beautiful, beautiful piece. I'm kind of torn, I should sell it. I really should sell it. Uh, but I might keep it for a while because I just find it so incredibly beautiful. Um, it is a peacock. It's, it's actually resin. You would think that this would be like high quality porcelain, but it's not. He's resin. And he is a day, there it is, day capoli, day capoli collection. Yeah. And they do sell for some pretty good money. So, um, I may keep this guy for a while might keep them around for a while because I do really love them. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Should I sell him? Should I keep him? So that's it, that is my haul. And you can see the stuff I got for the backyard. I got some of the plants for myself, a couple, you know, all the art stuff for Rachel. So really the stuff I bought for resale was very, very limited and should be very easy to store and ship because I can just throw it into a tub. So that's, that's the haul.